So Tuesday Ran is about Deadbeat Dad 1, who I'm going to call the clown of Camden because he is a fucking clown. In actual fact, he is a see you next Tuesday. And even that name, I think, is too nice for him. So I was kind of thinking, what are you hiding? Because he got really upset and was very vocal about the fact that I went to visit an old friend who I'd known for 20 four years say so I was like what's the issue what's the problem I've known this girl I knew her when we were together I knew her when we first had our kids like she she's she's a good girl and she's a good friend so why all of a sudden are you telling people to tell me not to go and see her she wants to she wanted to see me so I went to see her why are you upset that I'm in certain parts of London you don't own London you can't tell me where I can and cannot go and I was like what's he hiding what lies has he said about me so I go and see my friend and we start talking about the old times and then she drops this bombshell of going I can't believe how big the kids are I remember when they used to come and stay and I took them here and they come and stayed for a week and I'm going I'm sitting there going, what do you mean they've come to you, they've stayed here for a week, I've never sent my kids to you for a week. Then the penny dropped, deadbeat dad, clown of Camden, whenever he said he had the kids, was dropping our children to our friend to look after while making out to me. He was looking after the kids, they were going on all these trips, this, that and the other, because I was like... There's no way that she knew a lot of things about my youngest because my youngest dad is not her biological dad. It was my eldest son. So I found it really, really bizarre. And I'm like, what's she going on about? She assumed that I knew. She assumed that I knew that they had stayed with her. She fed them. She bathed them. <laughs> she put them to bed. And I was like, you fucking what? I had trusted deadbeat dad, the clown, to have my children, one which was biologically his, but he took on my youngest as his own, to have them during the holiday times, to look after them, to make sure they're okay, for him to only lie and go and dump them with the girl up the road because she had kids as well. So he could go out, get drunk, sleep with women and snort loads of cocaine. And this idiot, he's upset that I stepped into a part of London because he doesn't want me there. And now I know I'm going to come for him now. And it all makes sense why he's panicking about me going to see this girl. I am fuming. I'm absolutely fuming that he could do that. Children are precious and they are a gift. And I'm not saying that I don't trust this girl, but the fact is I gave him the responsibility to look after our children and he just palmed them off with the nearest person so he could go and take a load of drugs. Now, if that ain't a deadbeat, then I don't know what is.